Well, thanks for joining me here uh, in my shop. I'm going to continue working on this uh, really cool uh, radiometer, uh, radio meter, a signal generator, which at the onset I really wasn't very hopeful uh, at having any beneficial effect. But, you know, it seems to be the same thing every time I do something like this. I get in over my head and if I just spend enough time, and in this case, read enough comments, uh, I think I can work my way through this and discover just just where uh, things are going awry. So, okay, first of all, thank you uh, viewers for comments. I am reading them as best I can. I'm not replying to too many because I'm just too busy. But uh, anyway, I got some comments in particular from a viewer who is just about, well, he's never wrong. That's uh, Glastronic. Thank you very much for your detailed comments. You've made me look at this area again here. That is down here on the uh, circuit diagram. Let's just take a quick peek at it here because I have to correct some things. It's interesting to me uh, how it is that I managed to go wrong. <laughs> and, that, and that's a good thing because I get lots of opportunity to consider how I go wrong. But, you know, I saw 160 there, and I saw 160 there, and I saw some wires in between, and I think, well, that 160 must be the same as this 160, so there's 160. So I've been trying to measure 160 volts right there. Because it says 160 there. But, look, this wire's got a capacitor in it. There is no direct connection between this and that. And the suggestion is from my smart viewer that this is a real voltage where you would read 160 and this is a hint that this is the control that adjusts or sets the 160. So first thing I got to do is I got to remeasure this. I can't measure it here. I need to measure it up here and see if it's really 160. Now another thing is the 85 which is held down or controlled by this tube appears to be just running high and another suggestion here, which I don't fully absorb, yes I do, yeah, because the 85 is connected here and runs, I see now, runs between there, the voltages developed in this voltage divider circuit here is between minus 85 and plus 160. So if the minus 85 is not minus 85, if it's minus what was it I don't know what it was it was much higher and this voltage is wrong this voltage is wrong it may be out of range and this voltage if I do measure it may turn out to be something other than 160 just because this tube is not working so that's the target I've got to prove that this tube is working before I fool around more and take a perfectly operating machine and turn it into a pile of junk, which I don't want to do. So let's see. It's just a simple tube and my tube tester can test these tubes. 5651. So let me get set up to do a little tube testing here. Okay, so let's take a look at the voltage regulator tube, which I've taken out and I have it right here. And uh, you see it has a bit of a dark internal smokiness it looks like uh, which could be normal I'm not that familiar with what these look like um, so this one's got a number on it 5651 okay I'm just gonna set it there and uh, you know I don't test uh, voltage regulator tubes regularly <laughs> so I'm going to go through the manual here and uh, carefully do this so I don't don't make a mistake here we are. Here's the manual for my regulator. Refer the roll chart for the tube data to be tested. Set filament selector and EP to given settings. Okay, let's do that. So come down here. You can see I've already got it set to the 5651. Filament 6.3. Okay, there's 6.3. VR here, which is the hint that this is a voltage regulator and requires a special procedure. Bias doesn't matter. The selectors are set to 310 kp. 310 kp. Okay. 
three, ten, K, P. Check that again. D six fifty one, three one zero K P, three one zero K P. Okay, can't be too careful. The bottom row is set to uh, zero zero zero. Uh, there's four switches. How come there's only three numbers there? Well, zero, 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 and I guess I'll just set, set them all to zero. That's kind of odd. Sensitivity doesn't matter. EP is set to G. So here's the EP setting. Set it to G. I'll make sure that's correct. Firing limit, 100 to 115 volts. 3 volt regulator filament, 6.3 to 1.5 volt, K1, P1, K2, P2. Okay, so, hmm, what all that means exactly, hopefully will come clear as I read a little more of the instructions here. <laughs> Let's see. Turn the line, so, so I've done this. Turn the line control fully clockwise and insert the tube in the socket. Okay, so here's the line control. Fully clockwise, put the tube in the socket. There we go. Okay, nothing happening yet. Boy, I haven't even turned the tube tester on yet. Turn to, that's good, that's a good thing. Turn tube tester on, but do not make a line check. Okay, because then you'd end up adjusting this, this line control again. Uh, okay, we're plugged in, You're ready to turn it on. Really? Just like that, just turn it on. What am I supposed to be looking for? Turn the line control slowly clockwise. Oh my gosh, look at that. Turn line control fully counterclockwise. Oh my gosh. I want to kind of a bolt. You know, I make these videos and I make stupid mistakes like that. I leave them in. <laughs> I, must, I must look like the only guy who makes mistakes on the internet. <laughs> uh, I'm in my own category here. Okay. It's a lot more sense to me, too. Turn on the tube tester, but do not make a line check. Let's read all the instructions first. Turn line control slowly clockwise, observing the point on the 200 volt test scale. The 200 volt test scale, I guess. Here we are. VR test, 100, 200 volt. Okay, so what's it saying about that? Observing the point on the 200 volt test scale at which the tube fires. When the tube has fired, the pointer will fall back to a lower value of voltage. Okay, that makes sense. The value of the voltage at which the pointer falls downscale should be within the firing limits as specified on the roll chart. What's that? The value of the voltage at which the pointer falls. Okay, so the moment, the value it's at at the moment it begins to fall should be within the firing limits as specified in the roll chart. If the tube has a flickering glow or the meter is variable, advance the line control until both are steady. Observe this reading. Okay. Leaving the line volt control set as is, vary the filament volts switch through the positions stated and again observe the meter reading. This new reading should not vary more than the value of V reg as stated in the remarks. This is more complicated than I expected. Oh, oh, precautions. Do not insert tube and socket until all controls have used have been properly set. Do not make a leakage test. Do not change any of the selectors while the tube's in the socket. Do not rotate line control after tube has properly fired. Okay, yeah. Is, oh man, no. Failure to heat above comments may result in a test that is meaningless. Okay, low power. That's a different thing. Wow, now I got the fear. I got, I, I got the fear. I got the fear in me. Let's see here. Just turn slowly clockwise. Observe the point. Okay, let's read what it says down here now. Firing limit, 100 to 115. So we should see it trigger. Uh, in other words, when I get the voltage up in this range, then it should fall down probably to 85. 
3 volt regulator filament 6.3 to 1.5. Yeah, I don't understand this. K1P1 and K2P2. K1P1 and K2P2 are, yeah, that should be like that, are these buttons here. Uh, sometimes you do a test and then you throw the button and repeat the test. You're testing a different uh, element in the tube, a different part of the tube. Maybe it's a dual dual tube or something like that. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, 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 okay. Three volt rig filament. I think what it's saying is there's a ranger of 6.3 to 1.5 volts that you should change this setting. They're doing something different with this setting. That this is not supplying heater current to the tube. They're doing. They're pulling a trick here. And uh, three volt. Uh, maybe that's that's big, roughly in the middle. Uh, there is no, there is no, there is no, there is no three volt choice here. There's only a 3.3 volt. Oh man! Okay, good enough. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Uh, so I advance the line control. Wait a minute. What's? Oh yeah. Turn. I'll turn this beast on. Turn the beast on. Okay, that jumped up when I turned it on. Now, I, don't know, I think there's a tube inside the tube test, so I'm going to give it a chance to warm up a little. It doesn't seem to be important for this test. So just below 100, I will start advancing the control here. And I'll watch. I need to watch the meter and the tube at the same time. That's exciting stuff. Okay, here we go. I'm advancing it now. Okay, we're getting up near 100. You know what? That's the limit. That, I can't turn the control any higher. So it's, it's right around, what is that? That's right around, it's just under 115. So I'd say that tube didn't fire. I'd say nothing happened there. Nothing happened. Now what? Now what? <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure that this tube is, is no good. I really am. So we're supposed to fool around with this uh, filament voltage? Is that what it's in? The tube has a flickering glow or the meter is variable. Advance the line control of both are steady. Observe this reading. When the tube has fired, the pointer will fall back. Now it didn't do that. The value of the voltage when the pointer falls down should be within the firing limits. The firing limits are 1 to 115. This thing just barely makes it to 115. Well, Why don't we flip the K1, P1, and K2, P2. Well, let's flip those switches and see what happens. Okay, so this is down. Didn't it say something about, don't change the switches when the tube is in, for crying out loud. Well, these ones probably don't count. Okay, here we go again. Now we'll start advancing. The, I'm advancing it. 100. I'm at the max again, and it's, you know, 112 or something. Nothing going on in there. Wow, okay, so if I got up to 115, would it have triggered? I think we saw it running with uh, more than, like, I can't remember now the number. 125 or something like that on it inside inside the generator so I think it's a dud yeah I'll give it the official uh, X I'll get out my marker pen if I can find it and put a big X on it 
that's a dud. Well, that's it for that. Until until I get another two. Jeez, I don't know if I have one of those. Wow. Uh, I really can't do any more with this set. How much do you want to bet this is the entire problem? If I, if I put a proper tube in, I'll be cooking with gas. 